Hello everyone. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we will learn how we can secure our SharePoint, Microsoft Teams and OneDrive on unmanaged devices. Like there are the case when users work on the corporate devices in office and also when they are at home they used to work from their personal devices. So here we have few options to restrict company data on unmanaged devices or to secure company data on unmanaged devices by allowing user limited web only access so that they will be only able to work in the browsers right they will not be able to log in into any microsoft sharepoint teams desktop apps so today we will find a way that user will be able to browse or work on sharepoint teams or onedrive from their home but they will not be able to download any company data on their personal devices so i spent a lot of time on this research and found that we have to set up this first from sharepoint admin center and that will create two conditional access policies for us and also make sure that you have required licensing to perform these actions like business premium microsoft intra id p2 or p1 for Azure conditional access or Microsoft 365 mobility and security E3. Please note that you must be a global administrator, right? I am logged into Microsoft Admin Center with a global administrator account. So let's go to Admin Center. In the Admin Center, let's go to Show All, and we need to point to SharePoint admin center from here once you are in sharepoint admin center navigate to policies and then navigate to access control in the access control we have the option unmanaged devices on unmanaged devices we have few options here allow full access from desktop mobile and web allow limited web access or block access that this block access will be completely block user access to sharepoint teams and onedrive from their personal devices but we don't want to do that we want that they have access but that access will be limited to their browsers so let's save this close and Let's go on the second option that apps that don't use modern authentication like browser right here we are controlling browser and we will set to block access hit save once you set up both of these options this will create two conditional access policies in Microsoft Intra ID so let's go to conditional access policies here let's type in azure portal let's type conditional access microsoft intra conditional access policy and in the policy section you can see here that we got two policies created here right after setting up option from sharepoint admin center first thing first let's go ahead and turn off these policies as we don't want to disturb our current environment right we will turn these policies on after a better tune so let's go ahead and turn these policies off first okay the first policy here we got that block block access from apps on unmanaged devices so if we are targeting here sharepoint then user will no longer be able to log in into onedrive teams and these desktop apps that use sharepoint at the back end and the second policy here we have that is use a enforce restriction for browser access so this second policy will define that how 
user will access company sharepoint teams onedrive in the browser because they are not able to log in on the desktop app from unmanaged devices right this policy will not affect their corporate devices or the devices that is in tune join or the devices that are those are compliant with company policy so let's go ahead and have a look at first policy sharepoint admin center block access from apps on unmanaged devices you can rename this policy according to your requirement and here i will suggest you that assign this policy to a specific group of users right never select all of the users here i want to assign this policy to the security group right if you want to exclude any user like global administrator or any other person like ceo of your organization you can exclude that as well but i am not doing any exclusion but i have added the specific group here in the target resources one app is selected and that app is sharepoint right let's go to the condition i will skip the network option here right in the client app, let's see mobile apps and desktop clients are selected that select the client app that policy will apply to mobile apps and desktop clients i will keep this option selected right and will not be doing any change with this option and in the device platform you can include the specific devices here right if you want to target window here right and you want to exclude android and ios devices you can do that right but i'm not going to select any of this option i want this for everyone and the last option we have here that how we will grant access on unmanaged devices we will grant access on unmanaged devices that required device to be marked as compliant first or required microsoft intra hybrid joint device we need these two conditions to allow SharePoint application access for the devices or either one of them require one of selected controls like if the device complete one of these requirements they will be able to access SharePoint OneDrive and Microsoft Teams on their computer or their mobile devices but if they are not mark is compliant or they are not into hybrid azure giant they will be only be able to access via browser right we will go to next policy i will explain you how they will be able to access via browser so let's turn this policy on we are all set here hit save and let's go to the next policy that is related to browser access that we will give user access company data from their personal devices only from browser and please note that these policies only include sharepoint right and teams and microsoft onedrive is linked to the sharepoint so that's why this will affect these two desktop applications in the user section let's go ahead and select the users and then select that specific group of users okay let's select this again if you want to exclude any users or group you can do that make sure to exclude global administrator so in the target resources i'm sure that sharepoint is selected because we did this setting from sharepoint admin center i will leave the network not configured but in the conditions we have seen that one condition is selected and that is browser select the client app this policy will apply to browser we want this policy will apply to browser so hit okay so in grant access 
do not select anything but in the sessions you can sel select or it's pre-selected use app enforce restriction hit select turn the policy on and hit save make sure you have set up all these steps as explained this video and i hope you will find this video very informative and to the point always i try my best to create to the point videos so that if anyone review my video tutorials they will have good advantage i have gathered some screenshots on the client end in the browser that how this policy will affect for the clients i will create another video tutorial related to exchange outlook right how we can secure exchange or outlook using conditional access on the powershell so in today's video i have covered sharepoint that includes microsoft teams and onedrive let's go ahead and show you some screenshots if someone tries to get into any app from their unmanaged devices they will get these caution or you can say errors that you cannot get there from here right if this is personal device you can choose to let having manage your device by going to setting accounts i unless they have add their personal devices to intune let's go to the browser and see if someone log in into browser from their personal device and open any documents from sharepoint or onedrive he or she will see this caution at the top of the browser that your organization doesn't allow you to download print or sync using this device you use these actions use device that is joined to the domain for help contact your it department right same in the onedrive you can see they will uh, see this caution and they will not be able to get company data into their personal computers from sharepoint yeah you can see this from sharepoint that they will be able to work on the browser from their personal devices but they will not be able to get company data on their personal devices so if they use microsoft edge they will be able to log in smoothly but for any other devices like google chrome firefox they will need an extension that is windows account extension so that's it about today's video wait for next video where we will secure microsoft outlook exchange thanks for watching keep watching keep commenting keep sharing and i hope you found this video very informative and to the point take care bye